Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to display related blog posts in Squarespace so that you can keep visitors on your site longer and turn them into loyal readers. If you're new here, my name is Louise of solopreneursidekick.com and I put out new tech tutorials every Tuesday and Thursday to help you grow your online business. All right, let's get started. So the first thing that you need to make sure you do is add categories or tags to all of your blog posts. So you're going to go into your blog and then go into your blog posts. So you're just going to click edit. And then this pop-up area will appear and you will see tags and categories. So as you can see, I have this one as Squarespace already. But if I wanted to add a category, all I would do is click on the plus sign and it has my categories in already. If I needed to add a new one, just click Create Category, type in your category there, and press Enter on your keyboard, and it will add that in. Okay, so let's do this again properly. <laughs> all right, so click Save, and you're going to go and do that for all of your blog posts. Okay, great. So now you're going to go into the post that you want to add your related posts. So you're going to click edit. And then you're going to scroll down to where you want to insert them. I'm going to do this at the very bottom. All right, so then you're going to find the gray teardrop shape. Click on that. You're going to scroll down to where it says summary. So you could actually use any of these four here, but for today, I'm just going to show you the carousel. So click on that, and then you're going to select blog. Okay, and then you're going to click layout. And up here where it says featured, you can change that to related posts. And then change the aspect ratio to auto. Great, and then you can determine how many items per row you would like to display across. So I'm happy with three. Then you can also adjust your text size, the text alignment, and your metadata position. So that's your date below here. There's a few more changes that we can make. So click on display, and you'll see at the top there's number of items. So this is the number of items overall that uh, people can view, and I'll sh explain that more in a second. Down here, you have the option to add a read more link, so I'm going to add that in. For primary metadata, you can select what you would like this to be. For example, you could add the author name instead, but I just like to select none for this. And then you're going to scroll down to where it says category filter, and here you would type in your category. And as you can see, mine is Squarespace, of course. So I'm going to click on that. And this is going to pull in all of my blog posts about Squarespace. So it's up to you. You can categorize using either the category or tag filter. It really doesn't matter. All right, so I'm going to click Apply and then hit Save and show you what this looks like. All right, so here we go. We've got our related posts down at the bottom, and there are these little arrows right up here. If you click on that, then people can scroll through all of your posts on that topic. So if you wanted to adjust the number that they can scroll through there, that is what you would change under the number of items. So you would just click Edit, Display, and you can either drag this up to show more blog posts or drag it down to show less. All right, click apply. And that's it. So you can just add this into the bottom of all of your blog posts to display related posts. So that you don't have to add this in each time, I would just add a summary block to your blog post template. If you don't have a blog post template yet, I have another video on that and I will leave a link to it in the description below. That's it for this video. I hope that you found it really helpful. If you're just getting started blogging with Squarespace, I have another video 
that will really help you out and I will leave a link to it right over here. Other than that, make sure that you hit subscribe so that you don't miss another video and I'll see you guys soon.